welcome to today's lesson, Area of Rectangles and Squares. So what is area? Area is just talking about the amount of space enclosed in a figure. So here we have length and width, which are going to enclose our figure for this rectangle. So the pink here is going to represent the area. Another way to think of this is it is the amount of space or squares the shape takes up. So if I was to count the amount of squares that are in this shape, I would find that there are 12 squares. So my answer for area is always going to be in units squared. In this case, it's 12 units squared. If they gave me centimeters, feet, or so on, I would use that squared. Since they didn't give me the unit, I just use the word unit squared. Let's take a look at another example for rectangles. Here I have my rectangle. I have blue showing me my length and I have red showing me my width. So to find the area for a rectangle, I can just multiply the length and the width together. I'm going to use a formula for this known as area equals L times W. Remember in math, when I have variables, I can place them next to each other to show multiplication. So you're not going to see this formula written with a dot between. So in this case, if I was to count across for my length, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So my length is eight and my width, if I was to go up is two. So I'm going to go ahead and place those numbers in for my length and width. Now I'm going to put those numbers using substitution into my formula. Area equals 8 times 2. So the area for this particular rectangle is going to be 16 units squared. And I could also find that by counting how many squares are in this shape because it is on grid paper. But this is the way that we are going to do them um, when we do not have them on grid paper. And the formula is going to be a shorter way to get my answer. Let's take a look at squares. Squares are going to be very similar to rectangles. There's only one difference. So you are still going to be multiplying together the sides. But if we count, we notice that this side is a distance of four, and this side is also a distance of four. And it has to be to be a square. So when I have the same exact side length, I'm really just going to square them. So my formula is area equals side times side, or for short, area equals side squared. So once I count them, I know that they're four, and I'm going to substitute that in my formula to find area equals four squared, or this area equals 16 units squared. Notice how I got the same answer for both my rectangle and my squared, but I had two different shapes. So let's recap. Some key points. A two-dimensional shape is flat and has two dimensions being length and width. Area is going to be inside the shape and the units must be written as squared to show it is describing the inside of the two dimensions. That wraps up our lesson. Thanks so much for tuning in. Feel free to click to subscribe for this and other videos. Until next time.